Hey everybody, welcome to this new video. In today's tutorial, let's take a look how we can add, um, how we can start here into the shipping section from Shopify. So let's take and let's start into it. All right, so first of all, guys, what I wanted to do here is to go into my Shopify store. I want to have this already opened. If you don't have an account created, if you don't have a store into Shopify, I'm gonna leave you guys a link down below in the description so you can get your account totally free and you might be getting up to three months with just one dollar a month uh, for a basic or the startup plan uh, so that's more than enough right so first of all what I want to do is to go into my home section as you can see here it is then I want to go into my products so here are three example products that I have already created so if I want to set it up here a shipment section what I want to do is to first choose a product so as you can see Here's our title, here's the description, here's the media, the pricing, the cost per item, the inventory, and the location. Now in here, I do want to focus into the shipping process. So if you want to describe that this is a physical product, you want to enable this option. In here, what we want to do is to set it up the weight, speaking about pounds, if you wanted to add that. And here, let's say that this is 20 pounds and use to calculate the shipping rates at checkout and label prices so once we have located that it's really important to locate the custom information so where are you currently based so as you can see here is the country region of origin and here what i want to do is to go into the current section i'll be living here for example mexico and if you have a health my system code you can add that here i don't want to add this section and here we have the product has options like sizes and color if you want to add these options you can do that if it's not uh, applicable for your thing you want to go into safe all right so now that we have already set it up here our shipping section what i want to do is to exit for a second i want to go into settings and here into settings, I want to go directly into shipping and delivery. So here into the shipping and delivery, you want to go into the general shipping rate. You have the general all products rated for domestic and rest of the world. So if you don't want to sell for the rest of the world, you want to go into manage. And here you want to ship from the country with, that you're currently living the rate, the condition, the price, and here into the rest of the world, I want to select the option that says delete. Or if I want to add in a specific rate for in a specific place, let's say for example, I only want to ship to Mexico and into the United States. So I'm gonna hit into add rate, and here's the rate standard, and here I'm gonna put the price, the conditions, and here I want to use carrier or application to calculate some rates. So here I want to go into done. And after that, you want to go into the save section. All right. So if you don't know how to customize, how to categorize all your uh, the price of the shipping section, what you want to do is to look for an application that can be helping you to do this. So what I want to do is to go into the apps here into the apps. I want to go into the ship and I want to open the app store of Shopify so I can find an application that can be helping me uh, to make some shipment inventory and rates and all that. So for example, we do have the shipping rates of ship easy. We do have the DHL shipping official and we do have Packline Pro, but this depends on the currently country that you're living because as you can see, this one is not compatible with my store. So I just want to focus into one that has a free plan available. And after that, I want to install the application. So here in my case, I want to add the application. Now here, I just need to consider that this front, this free plan available is only for a 30 day free trial. So if I'm willing to pay for that, I can just uh, just go right away and to uh, make the free trial of the 30 days of this application. And then what I want to do is to install the application. I want to uh, let the application access to the store and to edit a store information. So I'm going to get into install app. It won't take you more than up to five seconds. I'm pretty sure of that. 
and after we do have everything successfully uh, already added into our applications which in my case here is the apps I want if you want to pin this into your navigation you want to just enable it I don't want to do focus in here we just want to go into the shipping rate of cheap easy so this one is going to be synced to our shop automatically so the shipping rates are going to be appearing in here, our shop data, and they can be providing us some customizable shipping system. So we just need to wait a few seconds until um, so this application do its own job, and then we can continue. All right, so I want to go into shaking, uh, syncing your shop, shipping rates. I want to go into continue. And here we have the testing mode of the application. So we do have a schedule a meeting with us so they can be helping us to uh, make a setup assistant. In my case, I don't want to focus in here. I just want to go into the general option. So we need a Shopify career calculated shipping AAP for the shipping grade from the application to work. So we need to enable that. And then here is the shop currency code that appears uh, into my store. The shop time zone and so on here. The weight format of my of my store. I'm going to hit pounds and the dimensional. I'm going to stick around with inches and the distance format. I'm going to hit into miles and the multiple rate at checkout. I want to show all the rates. All right. So and then then what I want to do is to go into the synced options and here we have the Shopify shipping zones. There are two shipping zones synced into my store as you saw that we used to do with that. And then what I want to do is to go into save. Now that I have everything successfully done, what I do want to do is to enable my shipping uh, API of the shipping rate of the app to work. So what I want to do here is to go into settings. So here into the scenario section of the shipping rate, I can add my scenario when I can uh, let's say create a shipping rate. So I do have a scenario where I want to make one sale on the USA and here is enabled all conditions must match. So the cost should be the quantity equals to two items. And lastly, if you do have a specific questions about the shipping and delivery rates, you want to go into the settings of your store, go into the shipping and delivery and scroll all your way down until you find learned more about shipping. So I'm going to open this into a new tab and here's going to be opening this section of a manual of shipping and delivery. So if you have a specific question for, let's say, for example, Shopify shipping, I'm going to choose this option. And here I can see the shipping careers of the United States. Here's the HL, HL Express. Here's Italy, Spain, France, Australia, depending on where you're currently based. So those are the options that we do have available for the shipping section. If you are making drop shipping with a store, actually you don't have to do anything because the drop shipper supplier is going to be making all this process of the Shopify of the shipping process. And if you want to set up a Shopify shipping, here is like a small section where you can be this is going to be showing you how you can fulfill the shipping labels and you how, how you can print that into your package and send that into the career. So they're going to be helping you step by step. You just need to uh, check all this article of the shipping and delivery. It's really, really easy just to read that and we can understand really easy steps of how we can make the shipping and delivery option. Once again, if you're making drop shipping, we don't need to actually do anything at all because the drop supplier is going to be doing all of that. So hopefully guys, it was a very useful video for you. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more about this uh, Shopify store. Good luck with your first store and your shipping section. Thank you once again for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.